you can't beat a bit of bully. Um, if you're from the UK and you're old-ish or older, you will understand that reference. Otherwise, don't worry about it. It was a really bad joke. Um, this is Bully on the Sony PlayStation 2. So, I didn't play this game back in the day until we got Scholarship Edition on Xbox 360, which I played a lot of, and it was full of bugs for me. It kept crashing my Xbox. Actually, it was a it was a known, or it was known to be like I say, a buggy game. Uh, it did get updates, but I don't know if it fixed it because I kind of fell off the game anyway. But anyway, let's play this. I've never played the PS2 version, the original. And I must say, it looks nice. I mean, PCSX2 is upscaling the graphics here to 1080p. Um, you haven't missed much at all, guys. There's quite a lengthy cutscene at the beginning when you're in the car being driven to this school by your mum and your stepdad. Uh, so the cutscenes in this have got like a weird... Oh, you'll see. You'll see. There's not a lot I can do about it. Ah, yes. So you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes. So this sir. dude's the principal. If you haven't played this game, guys, this dude here is the principal. You've just been dropped off at the school. Like I say, you've got a bit of a reputation for being a bit of a badass. Or a bit of a naughty kid. Whilst this guy is ranting away, I'll see if I can find the scores. Scores on the doors. The reviews, basically. The review scores. I get there in the end. That this game uh, received. What I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I let's have a look here. So, this received. Oh, I was looking at the wrong edition. I was looking at the scholarship edition, which received pretty poor. Well, not poor, but just like sevens out of tens, a couple of sixes. This version had an eight point seven out of ten at Gamespot, four and a half out of five at Games Radar. 8.9 out of 10 at IGN, they really liked it, and a 5 out of 5 at X-Play, who also really liked it. I like this game. I Like I said earlier, I fell off because the mini-games, basically. So when you go to your lessons in this game, you have to play these like mini-games, and I found they got a bit tedious. But apart from that, the game... I liked it. it. It was pretty good. It was... For me... Now, I've never read this anywhere, but if anyone's got any history with the ZX Spectrum, there was a game, or there was two games on there called School Days and its sequel, Back to School. And it's known in the gaming world, in the gaming universe, that GTA was influenced in some way by those old Spectrum games. This is what I've read somewhere before. So, this is like Rockstar's take on on that, basically, on school days. Like, going to lessons, avoiding teachers, or, or avoiding prefects. If you are, like, bunking off your lessons, that kind of thing. And there's a decent story here. I, I never... I was never entirely sure who the game was for. Was it for adults? Was it for the younger gamer? Like, probably that. Probably the latter. It was probably for your kind of 17, 18 year old kids. Maybe I'm doing the game a disservice by saying that. I don't know. It's it's a different... Yeah, it's a change of pace from GTA. Don't go in this expecting GTA. It's not open world. It is a linear game. But with... Can I go this way? Oh, I can't go this way, can I? With an open world structure, kind of. It's fun. <laughs> it's funny. And there are things in this game that you wouldn't... Or they wouldn't really get away with today. There's there's just some non-PC stuff that I don't know would fly today. So the game takes place over the course of a school year. I always remember getting to... I think they're in chapters, but the seasons do change, if I remember correctly, as you play. Ah, <laughs> a little jab. Time for a beatdown. This big guy always reminded me of... Not, not this guy. 
but one of the big guys shouting and reminded me of Biff from Back to the Future. Was it Biff the bully? Was that his name? Back to the Future. I love the music in this game. Rockstar always get a really good sound person in to, to produce the music for their games. Right. There we go. So, uh, there was supposed to be a sequel for this game. There was always rumours, Bully 2. Because of the sound person who was worked on this game. Is Biff. He's huge. He's an incredible Hulk. Nah. <laughs> yeah, um, what was I saying? The sound designer for this game was basically, when interviewed, asked if he'd heard anything about Bully 2 and he, and he said yes I would probably I will probably be working on the soundtrack for that in the distant future and as we all know it didn't come to fruition we have no sequel to this game hey you're the new kid yeah what's it to you friendly aren't you give me a break loser hey relax friend you're all pent up go easier they put you on medication they did to me boy nearly sent me insane that's fast so stuff like that i i don't know if it would fly today maybe it would there's a lot of themes here in regards to kids from from broken homes younger adults or, or older children from uh, violent and abusive families i i guess it's because there's a, there's a bit in the uh, beginning where your sta your stepdad is in the car and he said something about giving... Is it Jimmy, the protagonist in this game, giving Jimmy a beating? I I'm paraphrasing, of course, but stuff like that. Would it be allowed today? Because I know this game, someone or some organisations, some groups did try to get this banned... Uh, the PAL version of this, so uh, here in the UK, the PS2 version of this wasn't called Bully. It was, I think it's a Latin collection of words, wasn't it? Was it Canis, Canem, Edit or Edit? I don't know what that's Latin for. Because I can't read or speak or understand Latin. <laughs> um... So yeah, there, there were issues in regard, or there was controversy surrounding this game, a lot of it. But with a lot of Rockstar gaming, or the games that Rockstar make, there's a lot of parody here. There's a lot of... Everything's very exaggerated. And the use of satire throughout the game from beginning to end. But like I say, there are serious themes going on. And some people in the media didn't like that. They thought it would encourage bullying and that. This game isn't about going out and bullying people at all. It's not that. It is about, in my opinion, being part of a dysfunctional society or from a dysfunctional, being from a dysfunctional family and background. And it also was trying to show that the system, the school system, uh, was also dysfunctional, I guess. Boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? But it's a good game. It's a very good video game. And I'm enjoying playing this now. I'm enjoying this more than I did the Scholarship Edition. I just... I liked it, but I didn't. It was one of those games. It just didn't hook me. It didn't keep me interested. And again, I go back to who who's the target audience for this game. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Okay, there we go, save the, save my progress, but yeah, um, I, I don't know, I don't know about a bully, would I want to see a bully remake or a bully 2 or sequel to this, I'm not sure, I think there was a time and a place for this game, let me know what you think guys, let me know if you got on or if you enjoyed this game and let me know if you'd like to see this remade. Am I, yeah, I, I, am I being overly cautious in regards to wondering if the possibility of this kind of game would be 
allowed today because it's we get far more brutal and violent games than this don't we obviously but it can be yeah it can be dodgy ground for some people when it comes to bullying in school and stuff because obviously it goes on and it goes on every single day in schools across the world and it is it is serious but again this game isn't promoting bullying and and that was the issue with the media i know i'm ranting on about the political takes on this game and the media reception but like a lot of rockstar games gta isn't just purely about right go and steal cars kill innocent people it's not that but they like to blame the video games we will blame the video games for all of the world's problems which was just bs in itself No one ever seems to complain about the movies, it's always the games, or the TV series that we get, it's always the games, the game's fault. Well, the games are just a part of media as well. This this game... This game would be best without the little mini-games, which we will get to when I get to a lesson, guys. Because the story in this is decent, it's okay. Right, okay. Nah, I love the way Jimmy looks up for every few seconds. I keep calling him Jimmy. He is called Jimmy, isn't he? There we go. We've got the Bullworth cat. Right, the prefix of the red dots. That's right. We had prefix in my school. Is that still a thing today in schools? I haven't been in school since, or I left school in the 90s. In the mid-90s, I left school. But um, we had prefects. I wasn't assigned to be in a prefect. I was... No, I wasn't naughty. Oh, I love this. Look at this. Hiding in the bins. I'm sure you can hide in the lockers as well. Look at this. Yeah, I wasn't a bad kid in school at all. I just wasn't... Yeah, I wasn't one of the, the good kids either. I had a naughty streak in me, I guess. A mischievous is the, is the correct term to use when it comes to how I... <laughs> yeah, how I was at school. Oh, I remember Eunice. Oh, she looks like Heather from EastEnders. Has anyone seen EastEnders? Apologies to any of you non-United Kingdom people watching this video. But yeah, she looked like Heather, one of the characters. Like I say, in EastEnders, oh god, that's a depressing show. Don't watch it if you haven't seen it. It's really boring and depressing. I think Heather got killed off, didn't she? Her character, obviously, not in real life. Would you want that box of chocolates after? Yeah, give him a little kick on the floor. <laughs> Would you want that box of chocolates after that guy who's been indulging in the bathroom or in the toilets? No, thank you. All right, let's go give Heather a chocolate. I'm sure she gives me a nice big kiss for this. Ah. <laughs> this game is funny. It's a chi I mean, it's childish, but it was coming of age, isn't it? That's what this game is all about. It's a coming of age experience. No difference to your coming of age movies. Like, I don't know. Days the Confused. Is that a good example? I'm not sure, but I love... I love a good coming of age story that you can relate to. I mean, obviously this is exaggerated, but school was shit. Or it could be, in my case. I People rave about memories, don't they? About their school days. Oh, I miss being in school. The best times of my life. No, they weren't. Best time of my life was the day I walked out of school and started the summer. Pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. 
And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them, at least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. The stereotypical groups, basically, isn't it? In school that you, you would get, again, in a lot of these coming of age TV series and, and movies and the like. Um, I don't know what year this is set in the game. I'm not entirely sure. To have greasers as a group in your school. I mean, the greasers are what? The 50s? The 60s? I'm not sure. But anyway. Let's get to class. I mean, by half nine. I wish it was like that in my school. My first class in school started around 8.45 or something ridiculous. Oh, here we go. It's mini game time. Ah. You just know it's a rock star game. Like, if no one told you and you had just started playing this, you would just be like, yeah, this is a rock star game. Ah. <laughs> I did that on purpose, guys, just to show you it blowing up. I promise. I promise I don't suck at these easy mini games. I mean... This is fine the first time you do it, but then after a while, it's just like, really? Look at that. Chemistry. I was terrible at chemistry in school. Uh, chemistry and maths. Mathematics. I was awful at both. Hey! Say that to my face! Right, so I've got these uh, firecrackers, apparently, so... This looks good on PS2 for its time. Little bit rough, little bit rough, but it looks decent. Oh, no! <laughs> I love the 60s, or sorry, 70s style cop chase music when you get in trouble in this and you've got prefects or teachers chasing you it's just it was such a cool little touch sorry i won't do it again when you're busted you'll lose some of the items you had so yeah i haven't got the firecrackers anymore guys um let's play a bit more of this this is decent i like it it's a good game Oh, music's changed. Ah! <laughs> What's this going on? This little dude just whacking me. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's funnier than I remember, actually. I don't know if it was Dan Hauser or Sam Hauser behind this. The GTA brothers, I call them. I think it was Sam. But they've got a very... Um, oh, I like their sense of humor in their games. Put it that way. All right, let's start the setup then. Making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting, by making a nuisance of yourself, that is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just why is Jimmy's nose permanently red? <laughs> <laughs> like, is it because he's been punched, like, as he's got into school? Because you're in the car at the beginning, and his nose is red even then. Now, sir, on your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. Ah! Oh. <laughs> come here, you little. Yeah, come and get me. And it's just lots of this. It's lots of chasing bullies. It's like, I, I don't think Jimmy is supposed to be, oh, what am I doing, wrong button. I don't think Jimmy, the guy I'm playing as, is supposed to be a bully, is he? He's the bullied, from what I can gather. But he's got a troublesome past and he can stick up for himself. He's a bit handy in a fight himself. 
I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to think about it as much as I am. Oh, listen to that music. Some of the... I know I've already said it, but it sounds very similar to... Um, what DJ Shadow may have been producing at the time, if anyone's familiar with DJ Shadow. I really used to love my instrumental hip-hop, basically. Right, let's get him in this bin. Ah! Yeah, this is very DJ Shadow. Okay. But I always say this, and I come across as a rock star fanboy. I, I'm not at all. I just appreciate really talented developers. And rock star were masters at their craft. Masters of their craft. At, of. But you know what I'm saying. They kind of... Everything they touch turns to gold. I say everything. A lot of the games do. I mean, even Max Payne I love. Um... Yeah, just a fantastic developer. Just roll on GTA 6. I just can't wait to see the few... The, I can't say the word, but basically I can't wait to see the media's response to it. It's just going to go crazy. It's going to... Oh, am I going to take all these on? I reckon it's going to crash the internet because everyone on... PlayStation, Xbox, I was going to say Steam, I don't think it's out on PC on day one, is it? But everyone's going to be downloading that game. And it, like I say, it'll crash the servers. <laughs> but yeah, that's bully. I mean, this is it, what you see is what you get. Like I say, the, the chapters are seasonal, I think, so we'll get to like autumn after this, I think. And then I'm sure there's like a Christmas chapter in this. I think I did get quite far into it thinking back, actually. But like I say, the, the glitches and the bugs annoyed me. Even after it was patched, I remember still getting issues. But anyway, yeah. Bully on the PS2. Give me your memories with this game. And I'll speak to you all soon. What are you, crazy or something?